Yes. Now, let us see the classification of colloids. Classification of colloids. Say, <coughs> colloids are heterogeneous systems. In colloids, the suspended particles, so called dispersed phase, remain in the suspended state for a long time. Colloids are quite stable systems. Next we shall see the reason for stability of colloidal systems or salts. Colloids are classified in three different ways on the basis of different properties. The so first one is classification based on affinity of dispersed phase towards dispersion medium that is attraction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium based on affinity between phase and medium. Second way of classification based on physical state, physical states of phase and medium. Next time based on nature or type of dispersed phase nature or type of dispersed phase. There are three ways of classification of colloidal system. Now we shall study one by one. First, classification based on the affinity between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Say some colloids have high affinity between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. In some colloids, dispersed phase has high affinity towards dispersion medium. Such colloidal systems or salts are known as lyophilic. lyophilic salts. If medium is water, that means water is solvent. This type of salts are known as hydrophilic salts. Lyophilic salts or lyophilic colloidal systems are those in which dispersed phase has high affinity towards dispersion medium. In this colloidal system, if dispersed phase like loud dispersion medium, then that colloidal system or soil is known as lyophilic salt. Example for lyophilic salt, glue or gum salt, milk, gelatin salt, etc. Next, in case of some colloidal systems, the dispersed phase, hate dispersion medium, dislike dispersion medium. See, lyophilic salts are solvent loving salts, dispersion medium loving salts, whereas lyophobic salts are solvent hating salts. That means dispersed phase has a very little bit affinity towards dispersion medium. In presence of excess of solvent or medium, stability of lyophobic sol decreases. That is, so lyophobic salts are solvent hating salts. Lyophilic salts are solvent loving salts. If solvent or medium is water, this type of salts are known as hydrophilic salts. This type of salts are known as hydrophobic salts. 
water hating salts are hydrophobic water loving salts are hydrophilic salts say for hydrophobic salts example metal salts gold salt silver salt copper salt ferric hydroxide salt even sulfur salt also so they are all lyophobic salt solvent hating salts now we shall say that differences between these two types of salts important on the point of for examination lyophilic salts are solvent loving salt solvent loving salts are solvent liking salts these are solvent hating salts lyophobic salts are solvent hating salts so it is definition itself one difference next difference is lyophilic salts are more stable systems lyophobic salts are somewhat more stable salts whereas lyophilic salts are less stable later we shall see the reason for this that is stability of salts solvent loving salts lyophilic solvent disliking or hating salts lyophobic lyophilic salts are more stable whereas lyophilic salts are less stable next one reversible lyophilic salts are reversible they are reversible salts see if you heat lyophilic salts the solvent may get vaporized leaving behind the phase then if you add solvent again that is medium again to the system again salt is formed so it is reversible you can see the reversibility in the case of lyophilic salts whereas lyophobic salts are irreversible lyophobic salts are irreversible lyophilic salts are reversible next difference is if you add a little amount keep it in mind little amount small amount of electrolyte into lyophilic salt no change takes place there will be no change if you add a little amount of an electrolyte into lyophilic salt there will be no change that is addition of electrolyte will not cause any change whereas in this case addition of a little amount of electrolyte is sufficient to bring the coagulation of salt that means the salt particles get precipitated settle down so coagulation occurs in the case of lyophobic salt whereas no coagulation or no action in the case of lyophilic salt on addition of a little amount of electrolyte next difference is in this case surface tension in the case of lyophilic salts surface tension is lower whereas viscosity is higher than that of solvent or medium in the case of lyophilic salts surface tension is lower whereas viscosity is higher than the that of solvents in this case surface tension and viscosity are same as that of medium here 
you can split this difference into two parts. Next one is in the case of lyophilic salts, actually lyophilic salts normally do not show Tyndall effect. Later you will see the meaning of the term Tyndall effect. Okay, does not show Tyndall effect, whereas it shows Tyndall effect. Observation of Tyndall effect is not easy in the case of lyophilic salt, whereas it is easy in the case of lyophobic salts. Next one, electrophoretic effect. See, it does not show definite electrophoretic effect or observation of electrophoretic effect in case of lyophilic salt is difficult. Here you can easily observe the electrophoretic effect. Electrophoretic effect means when you pass the current through salt, the salt particles migrate either towards right uh, cathode or anode. This phenomenon of migration of salt particles either towards cathode or anode under the applied electric field is known as electrophoresis. You can easily observe the electrophoresis in case of lyophobic salts, whereas it is not that easy in the case of lyophilic salts, electrophoresis. Okay. See, lyophilic salts, solvent loving, lyophobic salts, solvent heating. They are more stable. Lyophobic salts are less stable. Lyophilic salts are reversible. Lyophobic salts are irreversible. Here, an addition of electrolyte will call uh, uh, addition of electrolyte will not bring any change. Whereas in this case, addition of electrolyte will cause immediate coagulation, precipitation. Here surface tension is lower than the solvent, viscosity is higher than the solvent. In the lyophobic salts, both surface tension and viscosity are same as that of solvent. Here observation of Tyndall effect is rather difficulty, difficult because it is not that easy to see the Tyndall effect in case of lyophilic salts. Lyophobic salts easily show the Tyndall effect and it is difficult to observe the electrophoresis in case of or electrophoretic effect in case of lyophilic salts. You can easily observe the electrophoretic effect in the case of lyophobic salts. See these are some important differences between lyophilic and lyophobic salts. So one type of classification is based on the affinity between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. On that basis there are two types of salts, lyophilic that is solvent loving, lyophobic solvent hating salts. Next one is classification based on physical states of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. It is another interesting bit in this chapter classification of colloidal systems, you know colloidal systems often known as salts. Classification of salts on the basis of physical states of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. So now let us consider the states of phase and medium. For such systems name of the color salt examples. 
one thing keep it in mind the state of medium dispersion medium will be the state of sol state of dispersion medium will be the state of sol medium in phase state alli irutte adhe state alli sol u irutte adon gap kaitkondiri same dispersed phase is solid that is in the system solid particles are present in a colloidal state colloidal dimension fine solid particles colloidal solid particles dispersed in same if medium is gas solid particles fine solid particles or colloidal solid particles are dispersed in gas totally the system looks like a gas or gaseous system in which fine particles of solid are dispersed which are not visible to the naked eyes but one can see under ultra microscope such system colloidal system solid dispersed in gas phase known as aerosol such system is known as aerosol example for aerosol you can give some examples which are commonly observed best one is dust in air dust in air say in air fine particles of dust are dispersed dust particles which are in the solid state a gaseous state totally the system looks like a gaseous system dust in air smoke smoke is a colloidal system in which fine particles of carbon are dispersed in air fine particles of carbon are dispersed in air smoke is a colloidal system best example for aerosol then soot soot that means it is a system colloidal system in which fine ash particles dispersed in air these are few examples for aerosol in which solid is dispersed in gas or gas phase on the other hand if the dispersed phase is solid medium is liquid solid dispersed in liquid totally the system or sol looks like a liquid liquid system okay fine particles of solid are dispersed in liquid such colloidal systems are known as sol simply they are known as sol example for such systems gum or glue solution gelatin paint glue gelatin paint ink ink is also a colloidal system in which colloidal solid particles are dispersed in liquid that is you can give some more examples for this next see don't give sodium chloride as an example where sodium chloride dissolved in water and thing really. because sodium chloride solution is a true solution in which particles cannot be seen even under ultra microscope that is the thing next solid dispersed in another solid that is one type of solid particles which are 
in colloidal state fine particles of one solid dispersed in another solid dispersed in another solid and totally the system looks like a solid okay such systems are known as solid 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 can you give an example yes alloys alloys colored glasses colored glasses gems not cadbury gem okay they are precise stones alloys colored glasses gems etc or some examples for solid in solid sol so next one is a face is liquid face is liquid medium is gas and total the system looks like gaseous system liquid particles fine liquid particles which are in the colloidal dimension dispersed in gas phase or medium such system known as aerosol they are also known as aerosol example liquid dispersed in gas liquid particles dispersed in gas yes mist mist fog haze dew spray some sprays we often used that is perfume that is in which liquid particles dispersed in gas next one liquid dispersed in liquid liquid dispersed in liquid say one liquid is dispersed in another liquid or liquid medium and totally the system looks like a liquid system such one is the colloidal system in which liquid dispersed in liquid Li one liquid acting as phase another liquid acting as medium such systems are known as emulsions liquid in liquid colloidal systems are known as emulsions examples for emulsion milk best example is milk okay milk some pharmaceutical preparations etc next one liquid of course oil in water water in oil like that cold cream vanishing cream they are all emulsions next liquid dispersed in solid it is another important colloidal system liquid which is in the colloidal state distributed or dispersed in a solid substance such colloidal systems are known as gels such colloidal systems are known as gels gels for gels you can give examples very easily jellies very often you used to eat jellies manenal martar nodi hal boy antare godi halwa halwa best example for gels boot polish 
ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಪಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಜೆಲ್ ಫಾರಮ್ನಲ್ಲಿರುತ್ತೆ ಜೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೂಟ್ ಪಾಲಿಷ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಜೆಲ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಕಲಾಯ್ಡಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಚ್ ಕಲಾಯ್ಡಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಮೋಜೀನಿಯಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕಲಾಯ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೆಟ್ರೋಜೀನಿಯಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಲಾಯ್ಡಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೋಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೋಮ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಏರೋ ಸಾಲ್ ಅಂತಲೂ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಎಸ್ ಫ್ರಾತ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಬಬಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಫ್ರೋತ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಬಬಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಫೋಮ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಫೋಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪಿಮೈ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ some stones sea foam sea foam you can give cake bread etc as examples okay cake bread cream etc as example sea foam generally it is used to clean aquarium glasses okay this about classification based on physical states of dispersed phase and dispersion medium okay so on the basis of this there are eight types of colloidal systems of which on the point of our examination aerosol that is solid in gas colloidal system emulsion liquid in liquid system gels are very important okay next one